Hey everyone, welcome back. Have you started building AI agents yet? If you're curious what an AI agent is, check out my quick video in this series that gives you a recap in just a couple of minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to scrape tweets and blog posts and build out a custom AI character JSON file using the Twitter scraper fine tune library from AI 16Z. We're going to integrate all this into a new character JSON that powers an Eliza AI agent with a retrieval augmented generation, a rag layer. Once you're done, you can sit back and let it manage all your Twitter interactions for you. Okay, maybe not all, but pretty close to it. First, let's set up our project folder and install our dependencies. From the project's GitHub repo, go ahead and copy to the clipboard the command to clone it to your machine. Once it's on your machine, you're ready to install the dependencies using npm install. And once that is finished and all the dependencies are installed on your machine, you're now ready to input your credential information. Copy the included.env.example file and make it a .env file. And you're gonna fill in your Twitter username, your Twitter password, and your Twitter email variables in a .env file. We're gonna also give it a path to a text file that has the URLs of some blog post content we want to scrape. And we do that in the blog underscore URLs underscore file variable. You wanna be careful about Twitter rate limiting. So I tend to be cautious and provide conservative values for max tweets, max retries, retry, de retry delay, min delay, and max delay, or to try not get flagged by Twitter. You probably wanna use a throwaway Twitter account also, just to be even more careful. So now once that's done, we're ready to run these actions and get some data. The first one we'll do is get our tweets by running npm run Twitter dash dash username, replacing the username with your Twitter username. And once that's finished, the data has now been added to a pipeline folder in the project. Now let's get the blog data by running npm run blog. Lastly, this library from AI16Z doesn't just scrape data, it even creates the basic character file for us. Go ahead and run npm run character dash dash username and date, replacing the username with your Twitter username and the date in the date in year, month and date format numerically. Let's now take a look at this character file that was generated for us. What's in the character file? We see that I've added the blog post data and the tweet data is there already. Like we mentioned, this is giving our agent more contextual knowledge on who we are, helping it give more realistic, useful, and accurate messages on Twitter for us. We also see some additional data fields here. The bio is composed of separate strings, which kind of functions like a, I guess, a prompt enhancer. And there's also this field called lore, which is definitely unique to this schema in, in Eliza. According to Shaw, the person who really kicked off this whole project, lore is sort of more flavor and color to your agent, helping make it feel more natural. Let's see it in action. From within the Eliza starter folder, we'll boot up the agent with pnpm start and the path to the character file. Once it's boot up inside our terminal, we can start chatting with it. This is a great way to experiment and see how it operates before we release it into the wild on our Twitter account. Well, it seems pretty close to me, not bad. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we scraped tweets, integrated them into a character JSON for an Eliza AI agent, scraped blog posts for a rag setup, and enhanced the character's bio, lore, and topics field. To see how this actually works, you can clone the Eliza starter repo, which is a pared down version of the Eliza AI agent, provide this character JSON file, and then boot it up with pnpm start dash dash characters and the path to your character JSON. Before you boot it up though, make sure to fill out the right environment variables in the starter repo as well, particularly the model information for running it. Once it's up, you can start interacting with a version of yourself. If you're not entirely satisfied, well, that's the beauty of it. Keep on fine tuning it until you get something that can take care of your Twitter interactions for you. If you like this quick five minute intro, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more AI content. See you the next time.